Hey, what's up, guys? This is Wade Triple Three. Uh, hope everyone had a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Um, Want to do a little something different this this week and do a uh, Derek Jeter PC uh, showcase. So I have a couple binders, a couple loose cards, and this is a gift I got for Christmas. Um, it's like a recreation of a few different newspapers with some of Jeter's milestones throughout his career. Um, so I haven't opened it yet. I'm not sure if I'm going to open it or not, but so there's four different newspapers, and these are like recreations from the um, actual milestones. So that was a pretty cool gift. So that's that. This is the first binder. Um, this is a card your your mom threw out. It's a reprint. So I hope everyone had a nice uh, holiday. Took some time off, hopefully. That's kind of strange here in Wisconsin. We didn't get any uh, snow for the holiday. We just got an inch or two last night. But we've actually been pretty much bare. Got a little bit around Thanksgiving, but um, pretty... Uh, rare for Wisconsin not to have any snow come January so here I think I have a lot of mostly inserts on these next few pages there's a bunch of uh, 90 SPX cards here finest blue and we're really uh, I think this is a row one numbered to 150 never really uh, PC Jeter per se, but I just kind of accumulated his cards over the years of collecting and opening packs, like this amazing greats. And I pick some up at shows and uh, check on my cards once in a while when I saw some good deals. His heritage inserts are pretty cool. Um, I actually picked up quite a few from check out my cards over the last couple months, especially with the uh, Black Friday sale. This hypnotized uh, skybox insert, pretty sweet. Some duplicates there. There's a thicker, uh, this is UD Portraits, number 1200. Some Styrotex. This uh, acetate card is actually a refractor. You can kind of see the shine a little bit, but it doesn't come through real well. But yeah, Jeter happened to play in one of those eras where he just had a lot of great 90s, early 2000 inserts. So it's kind of cool to collect his cards since you get a, so much variety from those eras. So yeah, I guess no one, not too many people have anything bad to say about Jeter. He's pretty much a stand-up act his entire career. And it's sad to see him go. But uh, it's about time, I suppose. I, mean, I don't think we're going to see any anyone come around and get close to, what was it, 30, 3,400 hits I think he had. So it's pretty incredible. Another in, numbered insert, icons. Here's a couple more uh, numbered parallels, silver. Uh, stat line, Diamond Kings. So 94 Bowman's best. Oh, and this is one of the cards that uh, Nate was discussing whether this is a rookie or not. I don't really think it is, but it's yeah, probably like a second year. If you count 93 as his rookie. Like this, this is a gold uh, border MVP parallel. Actually, need to, the bonds on this. A couple other inserts. It's a pretty sweet photo gallery from '98. I think I pulled that out of a box actually. Another refractor. Maybe this was the one Nate was talking about. I can't recall. Have a few of these. Uh, Flare inserts. This is some kind of set. 
maybe one day I'll look at picking up a few more, try to put together a set if I can. They're numbered to 1,000. And just some more inserts from early 2000, it looks like. There's a couple Tops Golds team card. Uh, this is some kind of oddball. Looks like kind of a Tough Stuff magazine. One of those cards that came in a sheet in the page. This is some other oddball with. Randy Johnson, Piazza, and a couple other guys on the back. Minor leaguers, maybe. Well, it looks like Ichiro, Pedro, and Sosa. So, some kind of oddball. Uh, nice emerald. I pulled this out of a pack. Most of these newer cards I pulled out of packs. These are from products I pulled. If you recall, I busted some 97 finest and some collector's choice over the past year so going forward this stuff is pretty much uh, accumulated over the past year from boxes I've busted or uh, check on my cards purchases here's another nice one with uh, Nomar and uh, A-Rod the premier shortstops from the 90's Like this Hall Worthy, I pulled that from a pack of Don Russ. And here's the, uh, I really like these Bowman Platinums. I just picked up the, the red from Check On My Cards from the Black Friday sale. I haven't seen any others. I'm sure there's some real limited parallels. But uh, the red was the toughest for me to find. I think I paid like four something for this card, so it wasn't really expensive, but just looks real nice in the page like that, all lined up. And nice Pacific gold crown die cut. Here we got the uh, young and the old. We got the uh, Jeter with uh, Mike Trout. So that's that for this binder. I actually started the second binder a couple months ago. These are actually not the full size binders. They're a little bit smaller than your, I think these are two inches rather than the three inch. So they don't hold quite as many cards. It's a nice orange refractor. Here's a 2014 Tops, the Greats. So this card's a little thicker. Nice numbered Elite. Nice uh, Refractor. Was this uh, 206 Gold Anniversary there? Couple base. Some Bowman Blue. I like these, are the. I think this is 06 upper deck. These are the green parallel. These are numbered to 99, the regular and the checklist. It's a Gypsy Queen numbered to 999. Nice gold Bowman Platinum. It's also numbered. These are pretty much, a lot of these uh, are check out my cards purchases. Black Friday, there's a uh, I just joke this is uh this should be officially uh, Jeter's rookie card. It's from uh, that triple play uh kids cards or whatever you wanna call that. But uh kinda funny. Um but yeah I got a lot of great deals on the Black Friday sale, so um I thought this I guess this isn't numbered. Um I was you know, the discounts on Black Friday were so great. Some of the stuff was seventy some percent off, so Got a lot of cards for uh, rock bottom prices. This is a great refractor. I've wanted this for, I think this is 2010. Wanted this for a little while. 
I think I paid four bucks for it on Black Friday, so I was real happy with that. Another nice early rookie from Classic. Picked up this Pinnacle Certified, the peel on it. I think I paid like 70 cents for that card. Check on my cards. Um, here's an up, uh, this is Ultimate Victory. This is a parallel. You can see the lines running through. These are actually kind of tough. I need the bonds. Um, they're not numbered. I think maybe they're a retail insert, but uh, they're they're somewhat difficult to find. So when I saw the Jeter, went ahead and picked it up right away. Here's another one I've wanted for a while. This is 96 Leaf Limited. Just a great looking card with the shine in the background with the Yankees logo. A checklist and here's another nice Bowman Platinum. I've wanted this. I saw this came out and was able to pick it up off uh, the sale again. And uh, finish it off with a 96 Fleer um, Tiffany. It's a cool looking card. And they got Etro's back here. I'll have to do an Etro binder in the future. And then uh, last but not least I have some stacks of stuff that's uh, in protection. Um, 97 Leaf Limited Fabric of the Game. This is numbered to a thousand. Nice looking card. I think I showed this in my last video. 92 Upper Deck Minor League. Got this off uh, Just Commons for five dollars. Um, they regularly go for ten dollars or so on check on my cards, so couldn't pass that up. Got a couple of these uh, Elite inserts from 2014 Donruss. I thought they're cool looking cards even for not being uh, licensed. Number to 9.99. Nice refractorage, so picked up a couple examples. And another uh, Fleer. I think this is Fleer Excel from 93 or 94. And this one was pretty cool. This is actually a auto autograph redemption card from um, O2 Fleer Triple Crown. Obviously, uh, no longer redeemable, but I got it off uh, eBay for I think like five dollars. I just thought it was a cool card to have because how many are still around that actually haven't been redeemed? So figured as a cool novelty at the least. Um, Here's a graded card I picked up, 98 Don Ross Collections. This is the Prize Collection Refractor Parallel. It actually doesn't say that on the uh, label, but it is indeed a Prize Collection with the PC down here. So, great looking card. And there's a couple other cards I wanted to keep in top loaders. This is the Museum Collection. Number to 424. Another uh, Donruss insert. Dominators. Again, great refractors. I think Donruss did a great job with their their cards. I hope they get a license in the future. So I think they can definitely give Tops a run for their money. This one's another eBay pickup. This was pretty cool. This is a triple threads, but um, if you pay close attention, the serial number is number 1 of 559. So I saw this on eBay and the guy had a starting bid of $5 and no one bid. I don't know if they missed the number or they didn't care. I, I just thought it was cool being, you know, 500 some cards and being number one. So I had to pick that up. Uh, there's another Diamond Kings insert. It's 2500 Um Here's a, another blue parallel from Tops 13. Um, this is a 96 Summit Ballparks insert. Got this actually at the National. Okay, kind of blurry here. 8,000. So. And then this was the uh, Topps Heritage Pulitzer Blaster from Target. The red Target uh, parallel. Pretty excited about pulling that card. Pretty sweet looking. Red border makes it look uh, even better. And then uh, I have a couple cards in uh, Magnetics, 98 Donruss Elite insert. This is the uh, Sports Illustrated Extra Edition, A-Rod, and numbered to 500. This I pulled out of a box of uh, 
Topps Gallery from 97. Um, I opened this box, I think, about a year ago and pulled this Peter Max uh, rendition. Pretty sweet card. Lots of uh, color. Um, here's an upper deck. Bound for Glory. This is a parallel number to 99. Another refractor here. This is 2000 tops. Great shine. And this is the last. Um, picked this up this year from a Facebook auction. This is the uh, 2013 Topps Heritage Action SP. So it's a different photo than the standard card. Graded a 9. Got a 10 for centering. So nice looking card. Great to have some uh, graded issues. So that pretty much covers it for my Jeter PC. Hope everyone enjoyed watching. Feel free to comment down below. And uh, look forward to catching up in lots of uh, videos as I've been been away from YouTube for a while so uh, take care and thanks for watching